Right folks and welcome to the channel and in today's video we're looking at the MRH810 from Nembrini Audio. Let's check this out. Right, this is the interface for the MRH810. Uh, before we dive down, take a look, play some chuggy riffs. Let's see what it sounds like in a mix. Right, this is the interface for the MRH810. As you can see, it's based on the uh, the JCM800 by Marshall. So you've got all your controls down here. You've got on the master section, you've got presence, volume, and a reverb. You've got lead and a clean channel. So on the lead channel, you've got bass, middle, treble, volume, and a gain. And on the clean, you've just got a bass, a treble, and a volume. And it's just flick that switch to click between the two channels. And you've got a whole host of various presets in there. And you can save it on, which is what I've got up at the minute. And to get into the cabinet IR loader, you just press that button there. It's a whole bunch of different cabs, a couple of different Marshall ones, a Mazer one. I think that's a Bogner BG and a Fender Tweed type. And you've got a whole bunch of different mics. So uh, you've got a 57, a 121 ribbon, a condenser 414, and a dynamic 421. And you can also change the positions of them as well. And as with the other amps in from Nembrini, you've got this little mixer as well, so you can blend the mics. It does come with a noise gate and you can also change the levels as well. So basically, if this is in red, then you need to turn these down. If it's in green or amber, you're good to go. And you can load your own impulses up as well. So you just click this little button here, takes you into the next screen. And the one I've got is a 1960 Marshall cab uh, with g12s in there with an sm57 if you don't want to use the inbuilt impulse load you can uh you can there you go get one in eventually then you can buy <laughs> then you can just bypass that all together and load your own impulse loader up pulse uh, air loader true cabs uh 
Wall of Sound, etc., etc., Libra. There's a ton, there's an absolute ton of uh, IR loans out there. So, anyway, that's enough of my babble. Let's uh, plug a fiddle in and give it a bash. Right, for this demo, we're going to be using the Ibanez RGRT621 that's going into the Presonus Audio Box i2 direct into Studio One. Uh, I'll start off on the the clean channel. Um, I have got a little bit of post processing on here. Uh, all I've done is I've just put a high and low pass filter in. I have got the Mercurial Green Smasher in there as well, but for the cleans, I've got that switched off. So as you can see, it's still uh, still get a bit of a crunchy tone going off, especially on the uh, the bridge pickup. Let's just bang the uh, the mercurial on just to see what difference that makes. <laughs> Does sort of tighten things up there and just gives it a bit more of a boost. Let's, uh, let's add a little bit of gain in there as well. to where it was we've moved over onto the uh, the lead channel let's uh play some chair 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 chugs <laughs> Definitely got that classic JCM 800 sound to it.
So I'll just turn the gain up a little bit just to uh, give it a bit more. Uh, uh. <laughs> the MRH810 from Anembrini Audio. Uh, my thoughts on it. Uh, yeas and nays, pros and cons, blah, blah, blah. Go with a nitpicky nays start off with. It's quite an old amp sim. It's looking dated. I mean, the, the, the actual interface is looking dated. It sounds good, but the, the interface is looking dated. But I th I'm not sure if it's the very first one that uh, Igor did, but I think it's one of the one of the first ones he did. Oh, it's one of his older ones anyway. But yeah, that's the only really... And I'm being nitpicky here. He's really nitpicky. I like it. The good points, yeah, it sounds like a Marshall. Yeah, you've got that JCM800 sound in there. I pair it with an overdrive and you're getting a pretty decent tone out of there. You can resize the screen. Not all amp sims you can do that with. But yeah, I always think that's a plus, especially for us older guys that can't see bugger all. <laughs> but yeah, you can save your own presets in there. So any presets that you put in, if you put your own IRs in, it saves all that lot as a preset, which is fantastic. So you're not having to... So it's not just loading the actual dials up on the uh, on the amp sim. It's still so it's saving the IR as well, which is fantastic. But yeah, overall, I quite like it. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to the Nembrini website so you can go and check this out for yourselves. So you can get a, a demo, try it out, test it out, see what you think of it. Set up a buy me a coffee page. So if you want to go check that out, there's a link down in the description as well. Um, I am actually working on making my own set of IRs, which I'll put up on there as well. So people can get them from there. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, all the usual stuff, sub, like, share. That's all for today. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media. Uh, you can also now get my music online. All links will be in the video description. And uh, you can click up here to uh, subscribe. I'll click the link down there for more videos that you may not see. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.